Hey, Chat Love Clark. Good morning. I uh, want to talk about politics. You know, I don't uh, believe in it. I don't think it's real to a degree. But, um, uh, you know, what uh, all this stuff, okay, you know, um, Trump being, you know, the favor or the favorite of the majority or the conservatives or the traditional Americans or whatnot. Uh, you know, he's going to be the fan favorite for the people, not Hillary. Okay, it's not. What it is, though, is I have a feeling that they're going to direct a, um, a riot either way. Either way. Whoever wins, either way, it's a riot. Because, you know, that's what we have to worry about, a civil war over this. One of them gets killed before the election's over. There's your martial law. There's Obama in office for another term. Um, a lot of different things could happen. But here it is. Look, this election has become like a fan favorite, okay? We've had all these elections in the past, and slowly people were not interested. The elections were nothing, you know. They were just... Um, for a while, it was just in uh, politics, it was boring, you know. So they brought entertainment. They brought fans. They brought people that are rooting for them, you know, that are really rooting for them, holding up their signs. Like I said, it's like WWF. It's like a sports... Uh, it's like sports, except for it's already rigged who wins, which a lot of times sports is, but people don't want to face that fact either. Um, so let's say, uh, you know, all these people, may, it may be a reversal of what happened with Bush. All these people voted for Trump, and they know he should win. They feel like he should win, and Hillary wins anyway. Okay. And it causes people to be pissed because they feel like it was rigged. Trump already stated that it's a rigged system. So for him to lose would make it look like he was legit. Okay? Now, whether he is or not doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. Because if he loses and a majority of the people are behind him, like they're rallied behind their favorite sports teams, which is the only time... The white people ever freaking riot, obviously, which is stupid. Uh, but you know what? At least it's not over fo fake politics. Uh. <coughs> but my point is, white people riot over sports and their favorite sports uh, events. And because they're getting this Trump rally and this Clinton rally going, uh, and they're getting people's heartstrings, people behind it, like they would sports. The whites may end up rioting. What they want, they want some kind of riot, I think. I think they want some civil unrest over this. So, uh, the uh, announcement of the uh, Homeland Security guy that wants to take control of the voting and make sure it's all protected. Pff, yeah, right. He says it's just as important as our inf our elect grade in our infrastructure, electrical infrastructure, okay? Uh, you know, why does Homeland Security want to take control of the voting? And then this guy, okay, thank you, Heather Moultrie. Uh, we uh, watched your news about a man that was a retired sheriff. There was a baby in a car, was crying, and he took a sledgehammer to the window to save the baby. I guess it was a hot car. I don't know. But the baby in a car, you don't leave babies in cars. So the guy was on being, re you know, the reporter was uh, interviewing this hero. And he had a blue shirt that said Trump. It was a Trump supporter shirt. Okay. And, the, and on the first, uh, the first run of the video, they did not blur it. And then the second time they reran the interview or they did the, over, they, uh, they blurred out Trump. As if, like, uh, you know, that's very socialist, communist type stuff. Like, oh no, you cannot show the support of, you can't show a hero or someone in the good supporting Trump. So we got to blur it out because we don't support him here on this on this uh, network. That's bull. What, if it was Hillary Clinton, would it be different? If it was a Clinton shirt, 
they would not they would not blur that out I guarantee they would not blur that out what this can also be is very much so is them they know this pisses you off it plays into the heart strings okay you're playing you're being played you're being your strings are being pulled and you're being played by this so don't let it get you so upset because that's exactly what they want you to do they want you to see they know they know psychology see they news people they act so stupid they can just dip into the reports and out and they're not responsible for the bullshit that they start or being accurate or anything because they're lawyers and all their judges and all those politicians back them up and everyone with money backs them up so they say what they want and they don't have to be responsible but to cover up this guy's shirt shows insecurity if it was a real if it was a real uh, reality it shows insecurity and false reality it shows that they're just trying to pit us against each other even more because they know that's going to piss off people and, and they know they know that they know that's going to piss people off it's not that they don't want to see a hero up there with the trump shirt they want to take advantage of blurring it out and and and, and they wanted to use this baby they're going to use this baby's life which is, you know, much more important than whether the guy was a Trump supporter or not. And use this baby's life, exploit this child's life with the title to get you to watch the video and then to see and then find out that it's blurred out Trump. See, this is all in favor of this has nothing to do with the child, and that's pissed you know, pisses me off too. It's not about the child. It's about getting that guy up there with that T shirt that says Trump and then blurring it out so people know it's been blurred out so that way you get pissed off. They know what kind of, they're playing reverse psychology. You've got to realize this. You've got to realize this. Everybody should. So that report, you know, that guy did a good thing. He probably w was real. It probably really happened, you know. I don't doubt it happened. And I don't doubt he wasn't a Trump supporter. But the news media, they purposely did this to piss people off. They want you guys to be consolidated. They want you solid behind whoever you're going to pick. They want you real solid and tight. They want you to, you know, behind them. No matter, you know, and they're using everything in the book to get people to be behind them. But the thing is, they want you so solid behind each candidate. So it appears to be real. That's not a rigged reality. And when you don't get your winner, you're going to riot. It might even happen before the voting. So... Uh, you know, I've been thinking this too, that this could happen. So, the Homeland Security director or whoever wants to go over and control the voting, you have no business in, Homeland Security has no business controlling the voting. No, none whatsoever. That's totally communist. What they did, blurring out that guy's shirt was totally communist because we have every right, freedom of uh, expression, freedom of speech, <coughs> Freedom of choice of voting, okay? We can pick who we want to support. <coughs> You're biased against Trump by blurring out that guy's shirt is uh, restricting his amendment right of free expression. And it shows that you guys are just part of the Kabul Khan. You guys are part of it. And we know that you are. But I wanted to reassure those other people don't get so upset over the fact that the shirt was blurred because that's what exactly what reaction they want. See, we, we keep falling for all the same reactions. We're getting reaction, reaction, reaction. And I remember when Gore supposedly won the election and he wanted a recount, recount, recount. Imagine this time. Whether whichever one loses, there's going to be some very, very sore losers because they've got you pumped up behind your whoever you you're behind your hero okay so if there's a loser in this contest you know there's sore losers and they're gonna riot because they're gonna feel like it's rigged do you understand what's going on so these are scenarios that can unfold and I wouldn't doubt that after the voting if uh, if Trump loses that the people wouldn't riot and if, he'll, and if Trump gets in, people are going to riot. So, either way, it looks like a white riot and a clash. 
Listen to The Clash and a song called White Riot. And then there's some other music you could listen to. Um, it's pretty good music. Um, it's called Guilty of Being White by a band called Minor Threat. Okay, they got a remake by Slayer, but Minor Threat, the Minor Threat version's better. Guilty of Being White and White Riot. Okay, White Riot by The Clash and Guilty of Being White. Okay, those, uh, the. Okay, you know, um, those songs m mean something to white people. I'm not telling people, oh, you're a racist song, you're a racist song, you're a racist song. And the black people on here that want to come on here, I don't send, I don't, I, you, you don't like what I say? Unsubscribe or block me or don't watch my videos. I don't force you to click on. I don't force you to click on. So you don't like it? This is not really a message for you then if you don't like it. Actually, usually it is to wake up, but the point is you don't like it. Nobody forced you to watch it. Nobody forces you to click on the title. If you click on the title because you're curious about what the title says and what I'm going to say, that's because you're entertained by what you hear here regardless. And you want to see and you have your ears tickled whether it's a nice tickle or a bad tickle. Okay? Whether it tickles you good or bad. You want to hear it. You click on that video, that's on you. I didn't tell you to click on the video. So if you see a title and you're interested in it, that's on you to decide to click. I didn't I didn't make you click anything. And if you subscribe to my channel, you don't like what you hear here, you can very well unsubscribe. It's not that hard. You go up to where you subscribed, press the where it says subscribe, press it, and unsubscribe. Okay? Go up to find me on Google Plus or any of those places like that or on YouTube and block me if you don't want to hear me, okay? It's simple. And it, you know what? Because I said a word, one word, an N-word, this person came at me and said, I let you get away with saying the N-word. You don't let me get away with shit, okay? I do what I want to do regardless. If you watch all my videos, I don't give, I don't care, you know? I could care less what you think because I know better okay I ain't a I'm not the kind of bigot that you think I'm a realistic all right besides I got some Asian blood from my freaking Cherokee family all right so I'm mixed so oops I stuck my tongue out that's the thing the Bible says not to do sorry um, but it you know it blows away your your idiocy no, two. Um, you know, I'm I'm just as, but you know, I'm just as Native American as uh, as any white person would call Obama white. Okay, so you know, I, I didn't would never call Obama white man. Just like a Native American would never call me native. I'll always be white. Um, so that doesn't matter. Okay, doesn't matter. What matters is the intent, integrity. What's your integrity? What your, what are you? What are your goals, and why are you trying to attain them? For what purpose? Selfish. Uh, uh, your family, uh, your extended family. What, you know? But you just watch this shit. It's gonna turn into a riot, and um, you know, white people riot over sports and sports events and winners and losers in that and uh, you know that's a, all ridiculous but my, my point is is they are rap like I said it's like WWF WWE NWO WCW all that kind of wrestling okay and it's like sports events and they know that the white people have been riding only over sports events, over winners and losers, so that they can get you into the voting like it's a sports event and get you in there, wave you in there, and have you on there as if you're, a, a, you know, get you really behind your guy, you know, and really feel like it's an event, you know, that you participated in. Woo! Hold your Trump supporter sign, you know. American fans get crazy. White American fans will get crazy. And if their winner doesn't win, they will riot. I believe that because the fact that they've set them up to do this because they know they riot over sports. They've made this 
voting like a sports event. So therefore, that when the when uh, Trump loses, and they feel like he should have won, and he told them it was rigged, they're gonna they're gonna go off the hook. Okay, I'm trying to warn people: don't go off the hook and to arm yourselves. Because I told people before, I told people before, I don't go out and try to hurt, hurt people. And if you're protected by God's Spirit and doing His will, it'll protect you no matter what. But a lot of people of you do, don't know God, don't want to know God, I suggest you go get a gun to protect yourself because these riots could happen. It could happen overnight. They could be bashing in your windows overnight and you not know why. And you could have been, <coughs> you could have been one of their supporters or not and they wouldn't know. They'll just think you're a white person and if they think you're a white person, they're just going to break out your windows and bust all your shit up, okay? Good thing I live in the country. There ain't there ain't hardly many um, blacks out here. Okay, so if there's a riot, it ain't gonna affect me. I'm not here, unless it's a white riot, and we're gonna be. What are we gonna do? Tear down our liquor store? <coughs> Tear down our local liquor store? <coughs> Destroy our mailbox office? You know, post office boxes. <laughs> I don't get it, you know. Um, that's because I'm in the country where people ain't going to be, you know, they're not going to be involved in writing. They want people like they're quiet. They want to be at home. And they'll watch the writing from the safety of their homes. If people come down this neighborhood writing, uh, they're going to get, uh, you know, they're going to get blasted because we got... We got police, right, retired police, retired military, white people up and down this neighborhood, this street here, just this street. Okay, and they, these are all people that are down to, you know, uh, practice their Second Amendments. And believe me, they will not hesitate to blast whoever it is trying to come in their house if something like this happened. Okay, so you may want to think twice during a riot if you want to come down over to you know my neighborhood and and try to direct your attack at me at some point because I'm surrounded by neighbors that would be pointing guns at you quicker than anything if you're even in my yard just because that's how we back each other up and protect each other here okay so there ain't gonna be riots here but if there was wouldn't last long because we got veterans and police on this street and they'll just blow anyone away uh and the other thing is is um you know like i said if you got a winner and a loser whoever's the winner those people are going to be all happy jumping around and putting it in the faces of the losers and the losers are going to be all upset and angry and feel like that it was uh that it was a uh, there was a catch to it that they were robbed of their vote or that, that it was manipulated or as Trump said, it's all rigged. You know, there's a lot of different scenarios, but just the fact that, that um, you know, that they blurred out Trump's name on this guy's T-shirt, okay? And then, uh, you know, people worried about, uh, you know, David Duke um, being a supporter of Trump. You know, when were you were you guys angry at Jesse Jackson and Al Sharpton for supporting Obama? Be honest. Let's let's be honest. Let's let's quit pretending that racism is just a one way street that only white people are capable of it because that's so so bullshit. That's so bullshit. You know, I'm trying to ra heal heal my racial division and what have I? What has happened? And instead of it healing. The wound's gotten deeper, okay, because of this uh, public um, mass brainwashing, okay, has even got to me, okay, uh, you know, it pulls on your heartstrings after you, you listen to it enough, it starts to, you know, it really does start to brainwash you and motivate you in different ways you never would have before. It's like people get angry, you know, like normal conservative people that normally wouldn't be outspoken about race or religion. They'll just keep their mouth shut and be polite. Well, they're getting sick of that and they're actually speaking out. And they're starting to get racially motivated because they're just mad. They, they, see, they see this black 
lies matter stuff and it pisses them off and they see all this hypocrisy and it pisses them off they are trying to get us to riot they want us to but we're too smart or too lazy or don't care or we know what happens when we riot we, we don't see any benefit so I don't see I don't see them getting I just don't see them getting the white people to riot but they may be able to if they get Hillary in there not Trump but if they get Trump in there, not Hillary, the blacks are going to riot. And uh, probably Hispanics. You know? So be prepared. You know, get, your, get yourself a 22, some maybe 9mm or like a um, little 22 pistols, some rifles. And go targeting, pr practicing, practice, you know, shooting at targets. Uh, time to teach your kids how to shoot. You know, um, different things like that because... You know, you may think, well, I'm not going to expose my child to this uh, kind of, you know, self-defense with guns. That's that's not my nature. That's violence. Okay, but think of it this way. Would you rather have your child exposed to some kind of worldly violence and at least know how to defend themselves or have them shot and gunned down without help, without a fight? Don't let your safety and security or your you know uh, the government or the flow of what uh, social flow uh, dictates okay because you've been brainwashed to think that you can't defend yourself because it's violent and every child should know after a certain age should know how to use a gun for self-defense and just if they had to hunt you know different reasons but that's another issue, so I'm going to let this one go because um, it's time to go. The sun's starting to come up. It's early in the morning, and I just want to remind people that, you know, white people been rioting over sports events. As funny as it seems and sounds and as ridiculous as it sounds, the more that they get this voting to be like a sports event, the more you're going to get a bigger reaction from the whites or the blacks. So either way it goes, be prepared for civil war.